Namaska Lithium in Quebec is unique, both in its approach to lithium production and the financing package it put together. I think prior to this financing, there really wasn't a financing of that size uh, done in the mining space. So this is a significant milestone, not only for Namaska, but I think also for the mining space in general, in that it was over a billion dollars Canadian that was raised. The $1.1 billion raised allowed construction and engineering to continue at the company's Wabuchi mine near the community of Namaska and its electrochemical plant in Shawinigan, Quebec. The minute we got the money, we called our construction guys and gave them the go-ahead to proceed with ordering and confirming the long lead items so that we can secure construction. Putting together such a large financing package had its challenges. I think it took us about a year to put the whole financing package together. And you know, all of the various pieces wanted security that the other pieces were coming in. And so everything really had to close together as one complete financing package. We met about 120 investors for the bonds in 10 days. Three continents using commercial flights and were able to convince about 45 of them to lend us $350 million US. The financing package included in Canadian dollars, 80 million from the Quebec government, 94 million from SoftBank, a $280 million deal with a global mix of institutions led by National Bank Financial, BMO Capital Markets, and Cantor Fitzgerald Canada Corporation. And in US dollars, a $150 million streaming agreement with Orion Mine Finance and a $350 million Nordic bond offering listed on the Oslo Stock Exchange. Timing was the key to making it all work. Then you have very, very limited time to close. If we had postponed the, the bond deal by a week or so, I think that everything would have fallen apart. Namaska Lithium is unique in that it's a vertically integrated producer, taking the mineral from mine to converted products and doing it with a patented electrolysis process. We replaced the conventional process that uses a lot of chemicals, generated, uh, generates a lot of greenhouse gases, uh, with hydroelectricity. So we were able to reduce significantly our greenhouse gas emission uh, by 98% and uh, the use of chemical products such as sulfuric acid by more than 75%. Transportation costs are lower, but also hydroelectricity gives us an advantage because in Quebec, hydroelectricity is, um, relatively speaking, low cost. That is making us the greenest and cheapest way of making high purity, very high purity, lithium hydroxide. By December 2018, the projects both at Wabuchi and Shawinigan were well underway. The target for production out of Wabushi is um, the end of 2019, so the last quarter of 2019. Uh, so that'll be with a concentrate, and then out of Shawinigan with battery chemicals, and they, those would be um, lithium carbonate as well as lithium hydroxide. That will be at the end of 2020. When up and running, the mine will employ about 200 people, and the Shawinigan plant, about 125 people. Guy says it's just the beginning. Our goal is to represent about 10% of the lithium hydroxide market and it's aiming about 550,000 tonne a year of lithium hydroxide needed uh, by 2026. So we have the great chance of putting Canada and Quebec on the map of that revolution of electrification of transport and I think we're the first part of the puzzle. <laughs>